Game of Thrones had an epic episode last night, and for those of you who haven't watched, I do apologize. I promise that this will be a quick video. Uh, but Game of Thrones is, you know, known for its violence and its sexual content, and uh, they went a little overboard in the last episode, but everyone seemed to really like it. Some people were uh, really shocked by it. I don't know if people are going to stop watching as a result of how shocking the violence was. Nonsense, nonsense. We that love the show, happens. so it's it's hard to believe that anything would make us not want to watch it but some now, people I, were upset I know I saw I saw some conservatives say oh they've crossed the line yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not gonna watch the next episode after what happened in this episode you're gonna be like hey you know what season finale I don't really need it I don't really care what happens to the Lannisters my ass okay and look they love the violence they're full of it everybody loves the violence let's keep it real we're yeah. America anyway um, so uh, the last episode and spoiler alert had a scene referred to as the Red Wedding of course the uh, episode's name was the reigns of Castamere um, but in the Red Wedding uh, a bunch of people died they were slaughtered uh, and it was just very, very difficult to watch. There was a pregnant woman who had uh, a, a dagger uh, uh, through her stomach multiple times. So it was a difficult scene to watch. But um, everyone on the internet is buzzing about it, and BuzzFeed thought that they would do a fun experiment where they have people watch that particular scene, and then they film the reaction. So we have a quick video showing you what some of the reactions were, and then we'll discuss. So this is like two Game of Thrones in a cup. Okay, let's watch. Pretty much. <laughs> No, 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 no! No way! That was me. That was me. That very last one. <laughs> That's really funny. I love how in the in the very first clip you see that one woman in the middle of the couch and she's just like, oh, someone's getting murdered, slaughtered. She's just like, look, look at her in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and her boyfriend or whatever right next I think, to her. I think they were carry. heavily medicated. Okay. Uh, or uh, Bran had done that Hodor trick on them and they were knocked out. Okay. Anyway, I think the most common reaction in America was this. <gasps> like, yeah, I, no, know. I, I definitely did not see it coming. I know that there were a number of spoilers on the internet. Of course, people had read the books. John had read the books, and uh, he didn't give us a single spoiler, even though we're doing these great Game of Thrones reviews on What the Flick. You guys should definitely check that out. We go more in depth about the episode. Yeah, I was going nuts about it in the review today. Yeah. And let me just say one quick synopsis, which is, I've literally felt, never felt that kind of emotion watching anything on TV, movies, plays, please. Okay. I would, I would, Opera, please. I would pay money to see your authentic reaction to yeah, that no, scene. I, but it wasn't even like my outward reaction, which I was probably squirming, like I, I do this on the cast, and I was like, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, <laughs> shit, they did it, right? Uh, but internally, I was like, my heart is pounding, you know, like this feeling of trepidation uh, because of some of the spoilers, etc. And plus, there was the more importantly the foreshadowing from last week, where they throw the leech named Rob Stark onto the fire. You think it might happen, right? And this was supposed to be a big episode. Yeah. So, but even then, I was like, oh no, oh no, God, damn it! <laughs> yeah. But that's what makes Game of Thrones. Awesome. So a number of celebrities and public figures were tweeting about this. Seth Rogen was one of them, and he said the following. Um, actually, this is his interview with Mashable. He said the following. It was unbelievably gruesome. HBO kind of set a precedent that the second to last episode is when they do really crazy shit, which is absolutely true, by the way. Uh, but they went way further than I had thought they would. My wife is very upset. Right after the episode, I was very upset. Like, it's very strange to feel so emotional about a show or, or a particular episode. Episode, but I remember thinking like I don't like this anymore I'm not gonna watch and then like ten minutes later I'm like oh I can't wait for next week <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'll admit something I actually dreamt about it all night I kept like waking up wow. and it was the wedding scene over and over again that's right? scary and and so maybe it, you need to be medicated no no it's interesting because I think a lot of people would see that as like validating what some people said it was too much etc and look if you thought it was I genuinely thought it was too much for you I get it you know of course then don't watch it no problem right 
Well, realistically, you know you're going to watch the next episode, but you might not watch the next season. It could happen, right? But to me, the funny thing is, in my dream, I kept trying to fix it. <laughs> like, I kept trying to like do machinations. So I'm like, Rob, think it through. You know, why are they closing the door? Where are your swords? Where are your guys? I mean, the Lord Frey is a duplicitous guy in the past. And you might want to do some plan B action, I right? I want bad things to happen to Lord Frey. Yeah. And Joffrey simultaneously. Yeah, no, I mainly care about Joffrey, but Lord Frey, his whole life has sucked. What difference does I it make? I want it to suck He more. sits there with his ugly children and, you know, has an ugly life. So screw him. It, it, but to be honest and to be fair, it was kind of a badass move on his part. Oh, God, no. I want some <laughs> Theon Greyjoy action on his ass, for sure. No. Okay, I want them to drag it out as long as possible. That little POS. I did not. <laughs> that little POS. <laughs> this is not. the time to scale it down. Okay, interesting. Anyway, I don't know. Piece of shit just sounds so, like, mean. Oh, see, oh you don't want to be too mean to Walter Frey, though. After he, anyway. just, after he burned the, all the heroes of of uh, Game of Thrones. I'm just trying to be a lady. Okay, oh yes, of course. <laughs> lady Kasparian. And uh, my favorite line, of course, uh, was, the Lannisters send their regards. So, yeah. look, man, and, and that's, I, I don't know that it was in my dream, I don't remember that well, but this morning I was thinking, God, I'd love to have a moment in my life where I, no, I don't do the same thing, please, but like the metaphorical <laughs> equivalent and have, as I'm putting somebody down politically, Uger sends his regards. <laughs> <laughs>